Hello and welcome to Minor Plays A Multiplayer Match. Let's go. This one is slightly different from the previous uh, slings that I've done because it's me being slinged this time. So I'm playing as the Goths. Uh, Matt, who is slinging me, is playing as the Celts. So that's like the sling two, uh, two matches ago, just the other way around. Oliver King the first. Olivier King the first playing as the Chinese and James playing as the Aztecs and I end up adding James on Game Ranger and the next match you'll actually see with him as well uh, we decide to play so let's just skip the beginning part because nothing to do here just a simple Black Forest game walled off a decent point here I was thinking about walling that gold in but I would have to somehow wall down here and that might not be suitable but I thought you know I've got plenty of gold here, here, here and here to set me going then also Matt will be sorting things out with my gold as well. However Matt encountered a bit of a problem to begin with if you have a look at Olivier he's only got a deer patch there, a couple of balls to fire over here, one sheep there but one sheep caught in the wood, uh, three balls up here but he decides, before Matt could wall it, he decides to come in and take out uh, a few people. The scout is gone. And if you have loom, the scout cavalry will die um, against a villager. But I don't know why he didn't just... That villager didn't attack. I think he was just trying to get him away. But either way, he's got the boar here, so he's going to be using that boar. And if I was just to skip a bit more, uh, just get things out of the way. Uh, there's some deer being caught off by Olivier here. Let's just skip a bit more. And Matt's currently, he's, even though he's in a score lead, he's facing a bit of a dilemma at the moment. So I'll just go over to him and house being built there so he's near the spore here and starts to lure the spore in to allow Olivier not to have it. Now Matt also walls off here because that's a this is a little path that the enemy might try to come up in. And Olivier even though he's got two villagers here he can still cause quite a bit of harassment and at this point he is doing he's not allowing Matt to come over here because this scout and these villagers will do a little bit of attacking. So if I just skip quite a bit, I'm think what am I doing? I'm just getting loads of wood, food, just doing my general build to begin with. Got a barracks up just to start off with. And here we go, Matt's got some militia here ready to attack. And so he goes to attack that villager. Got get him out of the way. And you can trap this villager in so he We'll pick off that villager, and that's that one gone. And where's this villager gone? He's gone up here. And I think this was a little tactic that Olivia wanted to play. Just get that out of the way completely. But that barracks may become a bit of a problem later on. And if we have a look here, Matt is warding himself in a bit, with the only access being through this particular farm. You'll just see the rest of the wall go up there. And therefore that will allow Matt to quickly ring his town bell and villagers will get in and attack whoever is attacking. But, where's he? Okay, there's the scout cavalry. And a watchtower going up, and already he's slinging me, slinging me, even though he's in trouble. Now, Matt is probably a, is a better gamer in AoE than I am. So, it, with this way, it would be a bit more... a bit... Um, the scores will be a lot nicer. They'll be a lot more equal. And as soon as I can get into the castle age, I... Ooh, that was about to go down, don't know why I didn't just continue trying to get it down. Yeah, the barracks in the... Uh, what am I saying? Oh, here's an archery range, got some people in. If we have a quick look on Olivier, how... Oh, oh okay. A uh, couple of spearmen and creating some archers. So he is going to want to attack very soon. I think he's, he's building a few more watchtowers. He's got plenty of stone for some more. So he is going to try and cause a bit of harassment. But if we go on to me, I'm castling. And here we go, here are the archers. 
Now Matt unfortunately hasn't walled off this little section here. And you'll see the problem there. These, these archers are going, but only very slightly. And there's a watchtower there that's going to be doing some damage, but not to these spearmen. These spearmen unfortunately can get away with it. However, against a villager, I reckon the spearmen might just lose. But that, those spearmen are going to go down, and these two palisade walls are going to go up there. So we just skip, just bet these archers are coming down. And they realise they can get in here and get rid of that villager there. Meanwhile, how many barracks have we got? Uh, seven barracks, a castle, plenty of villagers. But we need to see what's happening here. And against an archer, uh, the villager may just about win. But here come the militia. And they're able to pick off uh, one, two, three, ooh, not quite. But there's two archers and getting villagers to attack them as you do and there we go that's the main threat gone but three watchtowers up here and I believe I've just sent up a bunch of my goths so let's go up here and do the harassment so I start taking out some of the towers get rid of that villager while he's there and that's one tower two towers three towers gone start taking out some of the military buildings and Olivia has just gone to the castle age. so there we go and here we go Olivia is trying to work his way back in and I just check up here just to make sure there's no one else up here and there wasn't actually but here we go my score is about a thousand ahead but I have got plenty of I need just I need more food actually that's the main thing I need and I keep these goths here just in case but one thing Matt hasn't realized and I don't know whether um, Olivier realized this as well even though he's, he's warding himself in so he's not going to worry too much about that building a castle there so I think he's going to take out some of this palisade wall but Olivier can get through here and round here and get into his base so Matt does need to do something about that and there's dogs barking outside so if we go back uh, got these people here just in case and here we go producing loads of house well I say producing here we go I start to start to go and I've only got um, I take try to take out this gate and here we go, here's some Chuko news that come back. And I think I sent my uh, house girls up. But the thing is, oh yeah, here we go. There we go, that, those are those house girls going up, sort out these Chuko news. The thing is, um, Matt has asked me to take care of Red, uh, Olivier, straight away. But. I end up going for blue just before he says, and this gate is about to go down. And then I go, uh, because I've already gone for blue, I, I'll, I do, I just carry on there. But these husk girls will be able to take out these chickenoos pretty easily. You can see them just going here. Oh, they'll soon go. I'll just come back down to here, taking, getting rid of this castle, and. Jagged Warriors aren't going to do too much of an effect against a bunch of Huskars. And oops, one Huskar converted, but that monk is going to go. And James isn't doing too well. He's got he's got plenty of resources and he's got various archers out. But the archers aren't going to have too much of an effect against um Huskars. The Huskars will just be able to take him out straight away. I mean, the archers, they haven't got any armour, they've only got the extra attack and range. So I walk into that base, not a problem whatsoever, and I keep... Uh, Red tried to be sneaky and build, put a castle in here, but I stop him from doing that, and I take out the castle. Uh, send those two back, and don't know what I do there, but anyway, Blue is almost gone, he's... what's he got left? 
of these villages up here and just these two buildings here. So I flushed him out of his base and he is starting to create another base up in the corner and as soon as I get these husk girls, oh as soon as I destroy these buildings, I will then uh, be able to approach the next step. But here come some more husk girls. There we go. And because I got rid of his buildings, James is on 10 out of 5, so he has to create at least two new houses to, in order to be able to um, get some more uh, people. So he's got, what are you going to do, lumber jack, no. He's creating a lumber camp, he doesn't quite need to do that because he's right next here. But he's building some farms to get some extra food. And here we go. Uh, let's have a quick look at Olivier. Olivier's doing alright. All he's got a bunch of Chuko news, but I take him out with I try tried to take him out with my Huskars. But my plan here was to break through this gate and work my way up here and attack him from the back. Now these five Huskars against these Chukanus, let's oh no. They come back, so they're using their castle as a bit of a base. But are they going to have enough protection? I don't know. So let's see where these Huskars go. And do I bring them up? Yes, I, I bring them all up, actually. And I attack him from the other side, and he can't do anything about it. Which is quite fortunate. And he did have a trebuchet, but that was riddle. Uh, I don't know what to do with those Huskars. I think I send them up. Oh no, I'm just sending them around to scout. But anyway, that's that castle gone. And if we have a look at Olivier, in terms of everything else, he has got food and gold, but and a little bit of wood, but he hasn't got anything else. He hasn't got any military buildings whatsoever, actually. He was hoping to focus entirely on that castle, and unfortunately for him, it didn't quite work. So if we go back to... Uh, me. Well, yeah, I didn't show you the uh, results, results tables at the end in um, uh, for the the previous two ones. Oh well. Anyway, so all I've got to do now is take out James, and he is mainly in this building here. He's only got a few villagers left, and I think it's game over for him. I'll get some more food and wood and just pop some husk girls on here but I don't really have much uh, more population to do it with and I send these husk girls their point of they have to come here and there we go I see where's the where is James final base um, oh no there we go it's just this villager to get one more hit, come on, one more hit, there we go, and that's James defeated, but you'll see him in the next match with me. So we have a look at the scores, uh, you can see I killed the most people, uh, got the highest military, but also had a high economy, probably due to all the trading. Uh, just show you, go through them. My castle time was quite good for for me and society and timeline so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one which isn't going to be a sling so bye